Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this homepage over here using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In the previous video, we created this nav bar and this is how it looks. Now in this video, we will create this hero section over here. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code of our website and uh, let's go ahead and write the HTML of our hero section. So let's go to the HTML file and let's go outside the nav element and here I'll just create a comment. I'll just type end of nav bar and let's create a header for the hero section. And uh, in this header, we need to have two sections, one for this content on the left side and one for the image. So let's create a division with the class of left and in this left division, we need to have an H1 for this text. So I'll just copy this and let's create an H1 and let's paste it over here. And then we need to have a subheading. So I'll just copy this and let's create a paragraph tag and let's give it a class of subheading and let's paste the text over here. And then we need to have these two buttons that we see over here. Now for these buttons, we're going to create a container division. So let's create a division with a class of buttons. And in this, we'll create anchor tags for the buttons. And let's create a class and let's give it a class of BTN. And uh, here for the first button, let's type learn more. And let's duplicate this button over here. And for the second button, we need to type contact us. So let's type contact us over here. Now this button is a little bit different. We have a different styling for this button. So let's add one more class over here and I'll just add a class called outlined and we will style it in the CSS. And then the right side, we need to have the image. So let's go outside this left division. And here let's create a division of the class of right and let's add an IMG tag over here. And here let's tap images forward slash hero image dot PNG. And now if you go back to our website, this is how it looks. We have all the content displayed. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. So let's go back to our source code and before going to the CSS uh, we also need to add this background color that we see over here so for that we need to add a class so let's go outside this uh, right division and uh, let's create a division with the class of bg color and we'll just leave the division blank and we will style it using css so let's go to a style or css file and uh, let's start adding the styles now before adding the styles for the header let's go ahead and add some common styles so Let's add some styles for all the images. So let's tap IMG. And for all the images, I'll just set the width to 100% of the parent. And we'll also type display of flex so that the images don't have extra spacing at the bottom. Now we need to add some more common styles. But before that, let's go ahead and uh, bring these elements one next to the other. So we need to have the left content on the left side and this image on the right side. So here I'll just create a comment and I'll just type hero section. And uh, let's target the header. And let's set the display to flex and uh, let's set a height of 100 viewport height and let's tap align items to the center to align it vertically and let's add a padding top so that the content is not displayed here below this nav bar so let's take a height of this nav bar let's right click over here and uh, let's click on inspect so now if we hover over this we can see that we have a height of 67 pixels so I'll just add a padding of, uh, let's round it to 70 pixels. So let's tap padding top of 70 pixels. And let's set the minimum height of the hero section to 600 pixels. And let's add a maximum height of 800 pixels. So by default, the height will be 100 viewport height and the minimum height will be 600 and the maximum height will be 800 pixels. All right now let's go back and this is how it looks. Let's style this H1. So let's go to the top over here and let's add some styles for the h1 and let's set the font size of the h1 to 60 pixels and uh, let's add a line height of 100 percent let's set the font weight to 800 and uh, let's set a letter spacing of negative one pixels let's also add a margin so let's tap margin and let's set the margin to 16 pixels top and bottom zero for left and right now if we go back to the original design, we can see that we have this uh, linear gradient color for this text. So for that, let's go ahead and uh, let's add a background color of linear gradient and let's set it to 90 degrees. 
and for the first color let's type 312972 and let's set it to 7% and for the second color let's type 1A1423 and let's set it to 60% now if you go back here we can see that we have this uh, background color now we need to add this background color to the actual text so for that we can just type background clip and uh, we need to set it to text and uh, we need to set the color of the text to transparent and now we can see we have this linear gradient color displayed over here for the text i think we can increase this percentage over here let's try 20 pixels and let's also change the color to a little light color and this is how it looks we'll also add a webkit background clip so that it works on all the browsers so let's type webkit background clip and let's set it to text right now let's go ahead and add some styles to all the paragraphs so let's type p and uh, let's set the font size of all the paragraph to 16 pixels let's set the line height to 160 percent all right now let's go ahead and style this container for the button and we need to add some space between these buttons so let's target the container division and it has a class of buttons so here let's type buttons and let's set the display to flex and let's add a gap of 24 pixels and let's add a margin top and let's set it to 32 pixels and this is how it looks all right now for this button we need to have a different styling so we have added a class called outlined for this button so let's style that and if you scroll up here we can see we have added some styles for the button so here we will add the styles for the outlined button so here I'll just type button dot outlined so this will select the button with the class of outlined and for this one we'll set the color to the accent color so let's have var accent color and the background color should be set to var light color and then we also need to add a border so let's add the border over here itself so for the button let's tap border and let's set it to two pixels solid var of accent color and this is how the button looks now when you hover this button we need to have a different hover effect so when you hover over this we need to have the accent color added to the button so let's go back and uh, here let's type button dot outlined colon hover and let's add a background color of var accent color and let's set the color to white and here we have the hover effect for this button now when you hover over this button we can see that the border of the button has the same color as before when you hover over this so let's change that as well when we hover over the button so here we can see that we have set the border to two pixels solid var accent color so i'll just copy this and here for the hover effect let's paste the style and here instead of accent color let's add the same color that we see over here and now everything looks all right all right now let's style this left division so here we can see we have created this division with the class of left so here i just type header left and let's set the max width to 50 percent now what we will do is uh, we will position this uh, image relative to this header so for the header i'll just tap position relative and uh, let's tap header right and let's set the position to absolute and uh, we'll set the bottom position to zero and the right position to zero and now let's set the height for the image so let's tap header right img and let's set the height to 600 pixels and let's tap object fit to cover so that it has the correct proportions now let's go back and this is how it looks so everything is looking all right now let's go ahead and add this background color that we see over here so for that we have created this uh, division with the class of bg color so let's go ahead and target that i'll just tap header bg color and let's go ahead and set the position to absolute and let's set the width to 400 pixels and the height to 400 pixels let's add a background color of ad9 5ff and here we have the element let's bring it to the right side so let's type right of zero and let's set the top value to 120 pixels and now we need to send this to the back of our image 
So let's tap Z index and let's set it to negative one. All right, now let's set the border radius to 50%. So let's tap border radius 50% and now we can see it has this round shape. And now we need to blur this. So let's type filter blur and let's set the value to 115 pixels. And this is how it looks. So with that, we have designed the hero section of our website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.